Okay, on to our next activity where we're going to be creating a cute little collage using some, maybe all, of the coffee prints that we did earlier. Now these do take a bit of time to dry. Um, these have been drying for about an hour. If you don't have that time, you can put the, a hairdryer on a low uh, setting so it doesn't make the coffee splurt everywhere. So the first one we're gonna take is our little moon star scape that we did with the mug and the toothbrush. We're going to be working on the whole piece of printing paper, so A4. Now, to stick this to our paper, we are going to, again, use some kitchen cupboard stuff and grab some flour, doesn't matter if it's self-raising or plain. We're gonna take a teaspoon of that, put it in the cup, take a teaspoon of water, Mix that around until it's a paste. Bit more water. You want it so it's probably the consistency of single double cream. Just get the lumps out of it, give it a good stir. And I'm gonna be applying this with the toothbrush that we used earlier on. So grab your stars and moon piece of paper put a little bit on the toothbrush I mean if you've got a paintbrush at home of course use that as well you can use that spread it thinly and evenly over the just move that out of the way and then we're going to put that on the top half of your paper. So that's going to create the backdrop for our little scene that we're going to do. We're then going to take the piece of paper that you created using the wax candle and the coffee. And we're going to just roughly cut it into a branch shape. Of course you can uh, draw this, sketch this out first with a pencil. I'm just going to freehand cut it because I forgot my pencil. Okay. This is going to create a tree branch for our owl to sit on. So I'm going to stick that halfway on the bottom half of the paper. Again, I'm going to use this plate this time. Dip the toothbrush into the paste, spread it on the back. And stick it down. And those wax, the where the wax resist is looks like some nice bark markings. We're then going to get the potato masher and simply cut that out. This is going to create the body of the owl. Just going to put that there and assemble it in a bit. And then the first one we did with a spoon, you're going to take just one of those blobs that we, and this is going to create the head of the owl. So, just going to roughly cut that around. There we go. That will create the head. Okay, for the owl's feet, we're going to take the cross hatching that we did with a fork and we're just going to cut out one of the squares, cut off the excess white paper. That will create the feet and I'm going to use two of the squares, not one. And again, if you have time to cut round, that's really cool, but if not, don't worry. I'm just going to quickly cut round these so it looks like the claws. 
And again, we're going to stick it down. I've got one of the claws here, which I'm going to put onto the onto the branch. So that's one. This is the other foot. Spread a bit of the paste on. That's the other foot. Try and press it down. We're then going to use the body. Cover it evenly all over the back. And place that on top of the claws. And then the last bit we have is the Boom blob head. Put that on there. I'm going to take the bubble, the bubble wrap, a little bit fiddly to cut out, but we're going to use these for the eyes. So cut around one of the bubbles, leaving white space around it for the eye. So that's one. And this is another one. One here. Bit fiddly. Okay, I'm going to place that there. And then we just need, I think I'm just going to do a white. I'm just going to cut the corner off one of the pieces of paper and have that as a. It's upside down. So just put, apply a little bit of paste on there. You can probably cut a slightly better shaped beak than that. And there we have it, our little um, owl scene using our coffee techniques.